Hello and welcome to the what Martin says it March March edition of the Family Lab monthly meeting. Uh, we are not streaming to the internet because I forgot to sign into the right side of the computer, but we are recording, so this will be uploaded afterwards for <coughs> posterity and for those that cannot make it. Um, people on Zoom, I have a very loud crack. Uh, people on Zoom, just stay muted if you're not talking. Y'all are already there. Meet, Zoom, whatever. <laughs> Uh, Dan, would you like to talk about financials or would you like me to? Um, I can talk about it. Um, right. So uh, as far as the membership goes, uh, we gained one member, didn't lose any. So we're up to 110, um, which that's obviously good. Uh, donations, I think actually technically, that well, there's 20 in the box. I think we actually had um, um, some more than that. I think we had another 100. Uh, more uh, more than that from earlier in the month. Um, with that said, that you know that's always good. With that said, we're still uh, spending some more than what we're bringing in currently. Uh, it's been that's been pretty steady for the past few months, uh, and basically the only way we're going to change that is by building up the membership, which is uh, one of the uh, primary goals we have right now. Uh, other than that, uh, well, we had the Unusual expenses we've had lately were uh, the laser tube, of course, um, you know, expected, but, uh, you know, thankfully not like a monthly expense. Uh, other than that, everything is pretty unchanged from where we were before. Questions um, for Dan? Yep. Or are you going to keep talking? No, I'm going to shut up. Does anybody have questions for Dan, the big D on the screen? Will we get to see pretty graphs this weekend at the annual meeting? You will. Lots of graphs. Some of them might even be accurate. <laughs> she certainly hopes so. No pie charts. I only make cake charts. <laughs> Thank you, Dan, for the financial update. What about spaghetti plots? Those are, oh, those are good too. If people come to the annual meeting and want spaghetti, they can. We can make order. their own. No, we can order it. I guess we can could. have a big old lunch together. Yeah. Or we, we can order spaghetti. a bunch of pizzas. Did too. you want to talk about other parts of the meeting? Well, I'm spaghetti. You want me to? Do you want to? I didn't prepare. It's right here on the screen. I'll do it. Michael has offered to talk about the more general updates of the meeting. Hi, everyone. I'm a regular member. My name is Mike. <laughs> Hi, Mike. Hi, Mike. Hi. Hello. Me too. <laughs> There's two of us. <laughs> there are two of us. That, that's less <clears throat> than usual. We used to have like 10, and that was a thing. It was a problem for a minute. Yeah, it was Mike, 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 and Mike, Mike, and Mike, Mike, and Mike. Yeah, we had a problem for and a minute. And how many on one side then? Oh, it was bad. It did, it did, <clears throat> Thankfully, did. we've diversified a little bit. Uh, so general updates, uh, our annual meeting is this weekend, starts at 3 p.m., uh, both virtual and in person. Uh, if you show up, we're going to have spaghetti, Willie's cooking. I'm not cooking, I'm saying if oh, we, right. we want, we can order something. <laughs> uh, we'll discuss the history of Family Lab. Uh, we'll kind of keep it short and sweet, to kind of understand where we came from, where we're going. Then we'll also have the board elections. It is the most important part of the annual meeting is our board election, and that will keep Willie uh, happy if there is someone else who runs. Um, do, we have any, do we have any candidates right now? Uh, currently, we have one nominee, Mr. Matt Luby, who has returned from the great oh, north of that. Pittsburgh. My eyes are much worse than hers. <clears throat> Where's Matt? Is he online tonight? He is not online. Uh, he usually just like pops in randomly. Yeah. Like, he's like, he'll, he'll turn he around and see Matt and he'll be like, yeah, I ran here like an hour ago. Yeah. Uh, Matt was a former board member um, ages ago. Uh, five years ago, give or take. Four. 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 Yeah. He left because he got a job opportunity up in, I believe, Pittsburgh. Yeah. I took his spot. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, Matt's, Matt's super great. Um, he's really into a lot of stuff and he oftentimes runs here. Like literally, Ron. Yeah, like he's just a cool guy. What? Dicks. Yeah. <laughs> um, the other thing, um, 
about the board is, you know, the board's responsible is make sure that bills get paid, make kind of the global overarching decisions for the direction of the lab and to, uh, you know, keep everyone happy and able to make the things they want to make. Correction, we do not control the direction of lab. Y'all control the direction well, of lab. We facilitate y'all. By your, by the election, maybe. Well, yeah. Y'all tell us what direction <clears throat> you want the ship to go and we help keep the sails up there. Left. Okay. So anyway, there's a uh, Slack channel open, annual meeting 2023. If you have any questions or want to self-nominate yourself or someone else for the board. You can't self-nominate someone else, you can nominate someone else. Mm. July 4th, Dana <clears throat> is starting a July 4th shindig. We'd yeah. like to I think if we'd let throw, your, throw your ideas there. Yeah, that's my uh, crazy idea. <clears throat> Uh, well, I'm sorry, did anyone have any questions immediately about the annual meeting before we move on to Dana? Okay. Okay. The floor so, is yielded to Dana. All right, so I was thinking of us doing a uh, membership drive for the 4th of July. Uh, I have a full production rig, and I was thinking about getting some bands out to play, <clears throat> and we could have a... Um, like a barbecue smoker outside and have local businesses uh, like meat markets or supermarkets donate some food to us for the membership drive. Just an idea, I thought I'd float it. Cool. Let's, um, well, if is you there, the food, I can cook it. Can we maybe start some discussion in the events and classes channel? I think you started one in there. Maybe we'll just tag on to that. And... Yeah. We'll figure some yeah. stuff out. That sounds cool. Uh, there have been oftentimes fireworks often at a July 4th shindig as well. And if lack of fireworks, we have lots of capacitors we can blow up. We have, we have fireworks in the back. <clears throat> yeah, we have a bin of fireworks that we found. I don't know when they're from. I don't know whose they are. The best kind of fireworks. Yeah. Are they, are they crisp? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. When you roll them. We also have a box of rocket motors. Potassium nitrate. Probably we just collect pellets. all of the fireworks and home. turn them into one big firework. Oh, start so a fire, throw the, the box in, and then, then, then I meant to the like all the fireworks. I don't know if it's going to be good. Now that I've poured it in, yeah, don't worry. It gets a little tricky. Pretty sure that'll work. Gotta gotta work on that. I mean, we can probably get the mayor of Longwood out here. Oh, and we won't. We don't want him. No. Or her. I don't even know. I don't, I don't know the mayor of Longwood. I don't live here. Partly, <laughs> if, 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 we, if we throw a box, we had a professional wrestler. He would have been yeah, he's a professional wrestler. But I think we got rid of him. Oh, okay, maybe we have somebody else now. <laughs> six foot six. Oh, yeah. He'd have been fine. So we get the former work. mayor of Longwood out here? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. If we throw the box of fireworks <clears throat> in the fire, we might get the mayor out here for yeah, You know, places. if we make enough noise, the police would come. There you go. I'd yeah. probably join oh, in. Exactly. Maybe they want to join. Yeah. Uh, so let's let's definitely continue this discussion. It sounds like a cool thing. Um, I don't know what it'll be, but thank you, Dana, for starting that conversation. Yeah. And we'll go on and figure out what's going on. Aaron has joined the building. If you'd like, we can make a channel for it. Okay. Or just keep the events or and classes can, channel. Yeah, we can just yeah. kind of yeah, throw in events and classes. <clears throat> Start in events and classes, and if it gets very out of hand, we'll make a channel for it. Yeah. But yeah, keep it to the channels we got. Now the thing you know about, Mike, the I, laser I tube. I know about this thing. Uh, the laser tube. It left. It went to get recharged. It's currently being in line to be recharged. And they said they're going to send it out sometime toward the end of the week. So it'll come back to us recharged, ready to go. And oftentimes when the laser comes back, it is um, at a very optimum performance. And so if you've been waiting to cut something on the laser that needs a really good quality cut, that would be your best chance. Um, it's it's usually like a little higher power the first couple of months anyway too like 75 or 80 watts i think we measured it like 83 last time we got it back and if you want to come with me and install the laser and help learn how to install the tube and yeah cal uh, adjust the optics for it and everything we'd love to have more people learn how to do that. <laughs> depending on when it gets shipped it might be next tuesday uh but we'll we'll see. I'll keep everyone in the loop in either the laser channel and or the um, lab ops and management channel as that's coming back. Uh, do we have any members? No, no I'm gonna take. Uh, 
this is where we're going to let you off. So okay. open discussion. Have them until the discussion time. Does anybody have anything you'd like to discuss? Or show and tell. Thank you all for say. coming tonight. Thank tell you. them. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. It's <laughs> them. Uh, so now it's part for open discussion. If anybody has any show and tell they would like to show, anything they'd like to discuss. I have a mostly working prototype of the new uh, badge system. Uh, it's currently reading NFC cards. The problem is it's not set up for the right kind of NFC cards. And the library I have only supports the one kind. So we're going to have to dig into the bits on the card to get it to look at the right ones so that we can pull the correct data we need. So if anyone can help with that, I have a working prototype right here and enough spare parts to build two more. And the code. Nice. And could use a little bit of help. I understood some of the words. <laughs> data. Yeah, it, it thinks it's card A, so it's looking at one, two, three, four, five. Except we use type B, so we need it to look at A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Got it. So it needs to look for more data and in a different spot on the card. That makes sense. Which card is more common? Not ours. Well, at least in, should the we hobby, switch? It varies. in the hobbyist space. Yeah. Okay. Not you've ours. You've got my pair and you've got Enzac, and they both. They're, yeah, they are both popular. The one we use is the one we already use is more popular in the not hobbyist space. Um, and the library I have is very much a hobbyist library. Really, the only difference is just how many bytes they have for zero and that's it. That's yeah. the biggest difference. That's all we need to worry about. It's yeah. like way over my head right now. It's we have to tell seven. it. We have to tell it which page in the book to look at and where to start reading because it's looking in the wrong spot. Is there not another library you can use or they all paid because it's the enterprise level shit? Uh, <coughs> there, it, it just doesn't exist for circuit Python. We'll blame that on the prior one. So I, not only <coughs> the library I'm using was designed for so Raspberry Pi and then prior, prior, prior edited board. to use on an ESP32 and then edited a, a Again, to run on Circuit Python on the Raspberry Pi Pico, and then <clears throat> I have modified it again to work on this. Fair enough. So it's because we're using Python. Yeah, Python's a devil, by the way. Yes, <laughs> I agree, but it makes for such more maintainable code for this. It, it's compared to the original system, which used arbitrary libraries and languages that no one actually uses anymore. It's actually really good. Yeah, and, and this will mean we're not locked to one specific set of parts yeah, either. Yeah, th that was... I mean, are we though? Like, it kind of sounds like we are. No. Once we get this library working, it'll work with anything CircuitPython. Yeah. Okay. So, and it That's works fair. with anything <clears throat> CircuitPython as long as you've got the pinouts correct, which is easily documented on all of the boards. The problem is we just need to tell it which bytes to look at on the card. And that's the hard part. Thanks, Brian. Yep. If you have questions, I can. I have the code available. I like cookie crisp bites. Um, They're like tiny little chocolate chip cookies, but cereal. No. Can you take a bite? Can we get a bigger chocolate chip cookie? You can take that's a bigger bite. That's just a bite cookie. Out? That's just. A I know, but then. you can take a it's bite. Not out. Cereal. Is cereal considered soup? <laughs> no, stew. Big soup. Stew. It's chunky. It's a cold. It's a cold soup. It's a cold stew. Cheese, right? Thank you, Brian, for all the work <clears> you've been doing with yeah. new door stuff. Um, <laughs> and if you want to help, programming channel. Yes, there is a thin in programming channel. Yeah, that's that's part of the thing. Beautiful. Upcoming events. Uh, we have the Family Lab annual meeting this Saturday, March twenty fifth at three p.m. Uh, the Inventors Council of Central Florida will be having meetings. I'm not sure if they're open to the public, but uh, they're using the space Mar April 1st at 2 p.m. and April 15th at 1 p.m. The next... I had an open discussion topic, but that's okay. We've already moved past open discussion. I know, what is your discussion, Mike? Uh, we're cleaning out the dark room. 
Um, there is a swap meet too this weekend. Next weekend, not this weekend, but the next. Weekend. Coming weekend. It is. It is this weekend. It's, Sunday, Sunday. Yeah. it's on Sunday. I thought it was the next one. So wait, Sunday. Uh, we're cleaning the dark room. We're taking a bunch of stuff out there um, for you know for sale for donation. It's a cool swap meet if you haven't been. It's a Kiwi camera uh, down in Winter Park. Did you, did you there? Huh? It's not on the two there. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're cleaning the dark room out. If there's anything that anyone specifically wants from our you know sell pile, just let us know and you can take it, but it has to leave. Should um, put a donation in the donation bin before you take it. What? You should put a donation in the donation you bin before you take it. Yeah, put it in the big box and then I'll pick it up on Friday or Saturday night. And I'll take it on Friday yeah. and on Sunday. So anyway, so we're gonna be there. Uh, Tester will be there. I'll show up at some point. I might come out early to help. We'll see. Uh, and we'll go from there. All right, that was awesome. an open discussion item, but you just need to tell that to Brian. No one spoke up. I, I had my hand raised. As soon as I started talking about events. Anyways, <laughs> we're ignoring my. So, Family Lab <laughs> annual meeting, March 25th, and Mentors Council is April 1st, April 15th. Um, the next open house is the second Tuesday of April, April 11th at 8 p.m. The next board meeting will be the Thursday thereafter, <clears throat> April 13th at 8 p.m. And the next member meeting will be April 18th at 8 p.m. That is the third Tuesday. Uh, we had no member membership applications this month, so we will not be doing that. Uh, we did have one person complete the process, uh, Khan Tahir Ahmed, known as Khan. Uh, so if you see him here, just say hi. Welcome to FamiLab. Khan! <laughs> Not quite that Khan. <laughs> uh, and that brings us to the end of the meeting. Yay! Yay! If no one else has anything, if nobody has anything else to add, we will go ahead and adjourn the meeting. Going once, going twice, looking at chat, seeing if anyone's piping up. Cool. Thank you all for coming to the March meeting. Please do come or tune in to our annual meeting this Saturday. Um, and we will see you around. Goodbye. <laughs>